I began my appreciation for people who work in long-term care a long time ago when my grandpa Stan had a stroke. The stroke left him combative and cranky and confused. And I've often wondered if the sport of cage fighting didn't originate from my grandpa Stan's aversion to taking a shower. But I'm sorry to say that when grandpa finally died at the age of 93, we felt more a sense of relief than sadness. And as you know, when, when a person dies, there's a lot of work that has to be done. The funeral has to be planned, flowers need to be ordered, people have to be notified. And when someone is living in a long-term care facility, you have to go clean out their room. So my parents were Kansas farmers. They were pragmatic and practical, and they went about all of this with very little emotion, actually. And then, a few days after the funeral, the administrator from the nursing home called my mother and said, Madeline, when you and Quentin came in to clean out Stan's room, there were a few shirts that were still in the laundry. So the next time you come to town, would you stop by and pick them up? She said, sure. So she did. And when she walked in, she expected the administrator to bring her a grocery bag with the shirts folded up inside. Instead, he came out carrying them and they were, they were pressed, they were buttoned up, and they were hanging on hangers. And she said, oh, I didn't expect them to be ironed. And the administrator said, I know. He said, the laundry lady did it out of respect for Stan. And that's when my mother started to cry. It has been 35 years. But every time I think about that woman, I still choke up a little bit and I wonder did she know my grandpa before he had the stroke? Had he ever said one kind word to her? Had he ever said good morning or thank you in all of the years that he lived in that nursing home? I'll never know. But here's what I do know. That woman did not judge my grandpa Stan by his skills, his abilities, or thank goodness by his behavior. <laughs> Because if she had, the likability scales would not have tilted in his favor. But her simple act of kindness, ironing those shirts after Stan died, made us realize that she recognized his humanity. And it made us respect Grandpa a little more even after his death.